Hey everyone, how's it going? Let's play some Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. And we are on the Turnabout Sisters mission. And we're here in the detention center in the visitor's room. Let's check it out. Wow. They have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Yep, yeah, they've arrested the chief's sister for her murder when we know it was some weird pastel suit man. Oh, it's you, the lawyer. G good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Why, yes, I am. Uh, don't worry, Maya. It's my second case and my second murder case. So, I'm really good at this. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Of course I will. First things first. I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up. Really? Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what? what's wrong? You don't think I can do it? Dot, dot, dot. That's not optimistic. No, no one could... Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office. You looked at me like I had done it. Well, I mean, the beads that you're wearing are large. I'll just put it that way. And I don't want to say that that makes you guilty. It just... It arouses suspicion. Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought. It's it's okay, I understand. Dot, dot, dot. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? Well, the chief says you're dog crap. I, I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on the edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ha! So he crashed and burned? He's a genius. Whoa, chief. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Well, that's true. Huh, sounds like it was fun. Well... I know who to go to if I ever get in trouble now. We'll see. I don't know, Maya. Uh-oh. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. Oh, this is going to be a tough sell. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Dang, Chief. That's what she said. You could have left that part out, Maya. Um, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay, it's true, I guess, but at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia. I know. All right, let me just... Let's do my stuff here. Let's examine. Look at this guy's face. The guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. He hasn't moved. Uh, let's check out the camera. Smile for the camera. Mm, not much else to look at in here, huh? Alright. And... Um... Now, let's talk to her first. Maya. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, good. We're going to get to the bottom of these, this kimono and beads. This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Oh, she works at a shrine. Acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training? Okay. A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. 
All right. The day of the crime. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes. That clock shaped like the thinker? The one Larry Butts made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it. Yeah. I forgot how to delete those things. Great. Let's do the cell phone. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remembered. That detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Yeah, they don't let her have it in here, of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask for it. That's Dick Gumshoe. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Maya's Memo. Wow, that's a really long and typed memo for a handwritten note about a cell phone. Interesting. All right, let's talk about spirit mediums again. So you're an acolyte, uh, a medium in training. That's right. The Faye family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Faye family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course, I guess she did have that pendant on. She left the mountain to quote, follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I, I had no idea. Hmm. Wait, what? So you're a real honest-to-goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes. In training. Well, can't you contact Maya's spirit then? We could just ask her who killed her. Oh, that expression doesn't look like that's a possibility. I, I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I don't know how much training you're going to need to be able to talk to the dead. But... I'm guessing a lot. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm. I thought that would be too easy. Yeah, you're right, it's too easy. Um, huh. Something to matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Of course I could. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. But what about me? Say, what about your parents? Dot, 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 dot. I, I see. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10 a.m. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 p.m. this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I'd better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Can you tell me about the day of the crime there real quick? Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. The morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to the evidence. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. That statue? It sure does. So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9 p.m. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Then I found her. My sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. All right, and let's go back and let's present her with these glass shards. This was lying next to the chief's body. I saw that too. They said they thought they were pieces of a broken light stand. Yeah, that seems about right. Though I'd never heard of a glass light stand before this. Remember that receipt? You, you mean the one with my name on it? Any idea why she... 
Absolutely none. Um, do you trust me? Yes. I trust you? Why? Don't you think I did it too? No, I don't. It's just a hunch, but that detective thinks I did it. Hmm. I wanted to ask you about the murder weapon. Poor sis sniff. Hmm. Better not ask her about this now. Okay. Do I need to present? I wanted to ask you about your cell phone. So Gumshoe took it. I'll have to try to get it back next time I see him. All right. I think we're good. Let's move. Um. Let's go to the Grossberg Law Offices, where this dude is. Oh, he's got a picture of a famous hunter? Or is that Indiana Jones? I, I don't know. September 6th, the Grossberg Law Offices. According to the receptionist, the big boss is, quote, out. Is this going to be Pastel Suit Man? She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. Look at this globe. It's just a green orb. Um, I think you got ripped off. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Examine. Let's look at this. What's this? No clues here. Hmm. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick, it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. Expensive-looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive-looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. Hmm. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. A table for clients. Hmm, an elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that lighter's made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. Alright, I think we've examined everything that we can in this place. Alright, let's clear out then. Let's go back to the Fay and Co. Law Offices, September 6th. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no, no. Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. Yeah, you should be horribly sorry. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right, and you were... Detective Gumshoe. D Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? Right, at your service. Hang on. That's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Y yes sir, be right there. Uh, um, ahem, you're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Shoo, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Um, I need to present him with this thing about the, uh, the phone. I need the phone. I was wondering, did you see Maya's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. I'm gonna tell him straight. If I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter? Oh, no, no. It's just you know, detective. Nope. I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it. Like her boyfriend's. A cell phone holds all the little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. Uh, you're, you're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. You're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here. You can have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. He's the worst detective in the world. Maya's cell phone received from Detective Gumshoe. Check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. Okay, good. There was broken glass at the crime scene, right? Hmm? Oh, that. Seems like a glass stand next to the victim fell over. The glass shards were pieces of the broken stand. Okay. 
Um, there was a piece of paper next to the victim, wasn't there? Yeah, the one with the killer's name written on it. How do I have all this evidence? Are you sure that Mia wrote it herself? Given the condition of the writing, it's hard to say if it's her handwriting or not. So there's no proof that Mia wrote it. I was wondering, do you know anything about this? That statue? That's the murder weapon, huh? He thinks the clock is just a statue too. I'm starting to wish I'd never seen this thing. Alright, and then... Let me just examine. An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. Okay. Mia's favorite potted plant. I remember it had this bizarre name no one could ever remember. Cordeline Stricta, pal. Who was that? Maya's desk. Perfectly clean as always. The only thing it's missing is Mia. Hmm, that's true. There's a horrendous amount of legal books. Scarier still is that Mia probably read all of those. Okay. The sky is blue and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. Alright, so let's then move around. Hmm, no, no, no. Um, can I talk to you? Mia. About Miss Faye. Did you, did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You want to know the results, huh? Now don't will you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right. You can see the report, but that's all. <laughs> Thanks, man. Autopsy report added to the court record. Time of death, September 5th at 9. Yep. Death was instantaneous. Jesus. All right, Maya. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this isn't one trial. You're going to win. Why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You're all done, pal? Um, yes. Thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you'd better not. No influencing the witness, pal, with your lawyerly ways, pal. Hmm. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. The, the witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name, Missy May, huh? So you've sent her home already then? Ah, ha, ha. you're trying your lawyerly tricks on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the trial, so she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait. You know him, don't you? Um, I don't think so. Of course I do. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Ah, oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him sound... barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth, Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. All right. I think that's it. Let's go ahead and move, then, to the hotel. Very nice. September 6th, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. How'd I get in here? Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Teehee. Memo to self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. Alright, so what's this? There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey, hey! 
What are you doing? No touching? Oh, bad boy. You, you really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? I, I guess not. Why are you holding your hands like that? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. The late summer sunlight streams through the window. There's the Fay & Co. Law Office building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. A bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. Ah, a still-seen painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever. One of those is hanging on the wall. The flowers are fake, as expected. I know sunflowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. Well, we just learned that, like, cordyceps thing or whatever. Um, a simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. All right. Hmm. What's inside, I wonder? Cough, cough. Maybe later. All right. So let's go ahead and talk to her. I don't know why she's holding her hands. It's like she's a T-Rex or a kangaroo. Um, let's go ahead and present her with some evidence. No, it's not. Let's talk to her. What'd you see? Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observe, incident. You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Um, go, better not encourage her. Uh, you know that thing that occur um, happened the other day, the bad thing? What did you see when it when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty please? Let me see. Um, well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, boy. Um, could you just... Who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? No, hey, I'm just doing my job here. Tee hee. You know, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Um, <laughs> right. Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no. Tee hee. And you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh, boy. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Oh, what amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Well, you know me. Oh, no, not me. i just a, a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage, hmm? Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. Hmm. Oh, boy. Um, okay. Let's see if, what she thinks about this. Excuse me, but I'm a witness. Police witness, you understand? How could I possibly give you any information in good conscience, hmm? Me, the witness. It's just like in the movies. Oh, okay, she's going to say that for everything? All right, well, then. Hmm. What am I supposed to do if she's here? Uh, I guess I have to leave. There's nothing new to talk to her about. I, I can't examine anything except for this. And she's in the way. I can't show her evidence to, like, scare her away. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go back to the detention center. Hey! What is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry, I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm. I better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. I already tried. Let me give her her phone. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say, can I listen to my sister's voice? Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. Gosh. Hmm. Your family. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And if I don't know where my mother is, don't know, so she could still be alive? The woman in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he, he ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. 
Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her all by herself up on that mountain. So who was this man who um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try and contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. The police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course, but a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White? Hmm. So there's a man named White. Well, I guess I have to go back to the Grossberg Law Offices. Alright, everybody. I think this is going to be a good place to stop this episode. We've talked to many people as we gather evidence before the trial. And now we can go talk to this lawyer and see if he's going to take the case. Or, hint, hint, I think I'm going to have to represent Maya. But we'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Phoenix Wright ace attorney here in 2020 and i'm i know i'm curious i mean i i really want to see what happens and we will do that next time so everyone i hope you have an excellent evening or day and thanks again for watching if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel and you enjoyed this video could you please do so i'd really appreciate it take care everybody